Welcome to this express question and answer session with Mike Oaks, Senior Pre-Sales at Atempo. In this video, Mike is answering four questions regarding Miria, and the topic of scalability. So, starting with our first question, Miria key components are the server and its data movers. What are their respective roles? The Miria server is, think of them as your traffic app. That controls all of the functions who does what, assigning tasks, spinning up with data movers, number of threads, and we'll get into a little bit of that as we go. One of the critical things here is a centralized unique database. It's based on MaxDB for the database, uh, and Miriam maintains basically all file history, ACLs, you know, revisions, you know, specific file system metadata, customized metadata that you can also add into uh, the files before backing them up or archiving before you send them off to archive. That's searchable as well. You can search on that metadata. And finally, you can, as I mentioned, configure hot standby so you can have basically two servers, one waiting should the other fail and connected to this database through whether it be SAS or fiber channel, a little external piece of storage. So when one system goes down, the other one just picks right up where the other one was, was functioning straight from the database. Question two. Myriad data movers perform the actual data movement. Any specific requirements in terms of network or connectivity? With uh, two data movers here. So, and we can mix and match those type of interconnects on our data movers. Doesn't matter to us if whether we're using IP over IB, IB, or straight IP network technology. Even if we can also use fiber channel talking out to tapes and so forth. Uh, and this hot scalable solution. So as it's mentioning here, we can add data movers. You can do this on the fly. I can spin data movers up. I can spin data movers down. You don't pay for extra data movers. We just provide software. The data movers are your hardware and you can add and delete those as you need to either impre increase performance or decrease performance, right? Very important. So we can paralyze data flow. We can paralyze workflow with the product. Question three, what kind of throughput can you get from each data mover? And each one of those data movers was basically uh, able to drive about 700 megabytes a second. Now that wasn't a limitation of the data mover, that was simply we were using 10 gigabit networks. These data movers can travel much faster, move a lot more data, uh, depending on the network infrastructure, upwards of six gigabytes a second, right? Question four, does the number of data movers impact the price of the Myria solution? You know, you can scale these up and down as needed. Again, you don't pay any features pricing for the data movers. You pay on the data, the ADA server, the Myria server, whether it be a licensing cost for capacity or whatever product you're using, but you can add data movers and decrease data movers as you wish without having to pay a fee. I want to thank everybody for joining today. If you have any questions, please hit us up at a tempo. Love to hear from you and have a great day.